As of recently, we have been getting a lot of questions and video requests on how to actually kind of use Shopify. So in this video, I'm actually going to go over onto my screen and I actually want to just show you guys how to make sure your products are even getting shown in a Facebook shop. Of course, what I mean by that though is you post on Shopify and it goes into your shop. So I'm just going to walk you through the steps, making sure you do the few things right that you need to do because there's a couple steps that no one talks about or no one's even talked about yet. That's very crucial that you do so your products do get shown. Okay, now that we're over onto the screen, I actually just want to walk you through the process just to make sure we're all on the same page on how to actually post an item. Now, just to be very clear, this is a Shopify that is actually linked to a Facebook shop with a with the checkout initiated, which means someone can actually check out through the Facebook side or the Instagram. So you want to make sure you set it up that way properly. Now, inside of our subscription website, we do have a course, which that course inside of there, once you get into the subscription website, is $100. And it will go over how to actually integrate that and go through that entire process. But as of right now, I am just going to show you guys strictly how to just, once you're all set up, make sure your items are actually at least being shown. So the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is just go find a product and just quickly clicked on one. I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to just go to add product, refresh. And then I'm just going to quickly post one. And by the way, this shop is not even actually active. We um, This was one of the ones we just test throughout our testing phase. So, all right. So once you get this up you just quickly just want to go through do whatever you have to do um when you go down here of course you're gonna have to put a quantity and make sure you put a thousand we use the list quick software so they just do it for us um make sure it's all good and then you have to make sure you hit active on it because if it stays in draft it won't actually be shown so hit active hit save now the cool thing is oh let me just change this so the cool thing is once you actually hit save you can actually go around into the products and change to so like for example i can now change it like this so before you couldn't do that for some reason someone actually said that shopify is trying to fix that and work on it but when you post into the media you can't actually switch them around but for some reason once you save it you can then switch and rotate them around but if you don't hit save up top it won't work as of right now when i'm making the video but just make sure it's active and then once you do that, the next step you have to do is very crucial. You have to actually go all the way down to your sales channel and you have to hit this, hit Facebook. Then you're going to have to come over to the right hand side once it loads in. And um, once it's loaded in, you got to go down here, hit view all products. And they're not approved because I don't even know if it's still linked to a Facebook shop. I'm not sure, but show you guys for example. You'll see that it needs a Google Google product category. That is crucial. So you got to hit this. Now we just put the same one in every time, but of course, if you want, you can be specific. And then you just got to hit new, hit save, and then it will update it. And then you can back out, and you are all set with that. Now, if you want to add shipping, you got to hit settings, shipping, and delivery. So this is how you actually add the shipping. You want to create a new profile. Then once you create it, you can hit add products to it and then you'll basically just add a product to it it's very simple and easy just make sure you go here and set that up of course now say when you were setting up your shop when you like your shopify to your shop when you linked it you could have put like a base shipping rate in there but if of course if you go and do it this way it will change that so if you put it the base shipping rate at like six dollars every item will go to six dollars but then when you go in here and change it to a shipping profile say the shipping profile is fourteen dollars it'll move to fourteen so that's what you want to make sure you do. And I can even just go over it one more time again. Um, I'll just go find a different product. Um, I'll just hit this one. And then you can hit copy. Then once you hit copy, of course, I usually go up in the extension and just select feature and just change it. But let's just do this for example. So it's just quick and easy. Change it. Just make sure it's all set. And then I'll refresh. And then I will post the item, of course. And I want to show you guys, see how it goes first, which is good. But you can't change it. See how you can't change it? That's a problem right now with Shopify. And then obviously you just want to go through just whatever you want to do. Let's put 44. It's already at the 1,000 in for me. And then I'm going to go up, make sure it's active, save. 
Now, once I save it and it's done being saved, I can then go boop and change it around. So that's something to note. It's very crucial that you understand that. Then of course you go to the sales channel, go to Facebook, and then you're just gonna repeat the same process where I'm gonna add a Google category. We got in here, view all products. Once I actually load into that, you're then gonna see it's blank. Of course, I'm gonna hit the same one. Then I'm gonna hit new, hit save, and we're good. Now, and then of course, you wanna go add your shipping, which is gonna go through the same process all over again. You're gonna go down to settings, then you're gonna go into shipping, and you're just gonna add the product to that shipping profile. Now, you can make a handful of shipping profiles. You can make like a six, nine, 14, you know, whatever you guys choose to do. The only thing I will say is that I want to make sure you just add that every single time because if you don't, then your product won't be shown. Um, and at the end of the day, this is honestly probably the biggest main factor to your Shopify store because this is probably why most of your products aren't being shown because you got to make sure they're at least staying active, they're not in draft, and you have a Google category. And if you do that, everything will be shown. Of course, it takes about eight hours the first time you actually enable Marketplace. Usually eight to 24, they say. We found it's around eight hours. But once you do that, you're completely all set. You're all set up and you shouldn't run into any other issues. Um, and if you guys did enjoy this video, me going over this, make sure you drop a comment and let me know if you want more videos like this. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in getting signed up with the Shopify course, then make sure you join our subscription website. It is $100 inside of there. And make sure you guys have yourself a wonderful afternoon.